My name is Rick Kiesig, and we are in the business of imagining a world without viral disease. You hear the word virus, it's got to be bad news, well not today, because this new pill is kryptonite for viruses. It cures the common cold, it cures the flu, even cold sores and shingles, and hemorrhagic fever and Ebola. Well, it's a breakthrough as big as penicillin. When can you have one? In about seven years, with a little help from you and this guy. The mission for our company is to reduce human and animal suffering in the world. And we believe we can have a dramatic effect on this, uh, not just in people, but in animals. Animals uh, of all kinds suffer from a surprisingly wide range of viral diseases. That's Rick Kiesig. He successfully steered three rockets on target to Mars for NASA. And he's a biochemist. So his rocket scientist brain right now is making this pill down in New Zealand. And it's kryptonite for viruses. No way, I hear you say. He can but dream to cure the cold someday. In fact, the truth is, a cure does not need to be invented. The cure was revealed 10 years ago today. A pioneering researcher called Dr. Todd Ryder was in the shower when he had a brainwave, a mousetrap for viruses. And he revealed that mousetrap structure, the formula for this pill, to the world in 2012. They went wild with excitement. The White House said it was visionary. But despite the potential of Dr. Ryder's discovery, he couldn't get funding for the idea. Getting things off the ground is sort of what rocket scientists do. So in 2020, the Silicon Valley rocket man and Phil Oliver set up Keimer Med in Nelson, New Zealand, and they raised $5 million thereabouts and secured the patents on Dr. Ryder's original discoveries. Now they're moving forward to bring this to market with a Series A funding launch later this year. Um, we've successfully, as you said, raised some grant funding from Callahan Innovation here in New Zealand. But um, we're tentatively thinking that, that uh, we'd like to pursue a Series A round of financing sometime this year. We would love the help we're looking for. We will need a lot of money to do this because uh, that's just the nature of drug development. So we very much would appreciate help and input from wherever we can find it. When I spoke to the man who's now delivering the biggest medical breakthrough since penicillin, the first question I had for him was, how does it work? So in our case, we're looking at double-stranded RNA, which is just not present in normal healthy cells. So we, we target this virally generated double-stranded RNA, and our compound latches onto that, and that becomes a trigger then for the third piece of our compound, which uh, activates apoptosis in the cell. So apoptosis is just... Um, it's like a controlled cell death. It happens all the time. The body does it on a normal basis every day for, for many cells in the body. And it's part of what the immune system does naturally to help fight against viruses, actually. It, 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 you know, if, a, if a cell yeah. gets infected with a virus, it becomes a factory for that virus. This destruction of cell factories is the secret to why it's kryptonite for viruses. Most viruses on the planet. Viruses, unlike bacteria, are not going to be able to evolve their way around this type of drug easily, if at all. The, the biochemistry of the way that viruses defend themselves requires like the whole, the whole chain of events, of molecular events, to be in sequence. And for the, the, the molecules, like, uh, like the ones that we're working with, these proteins, to be intact. And so the fact that we've broken these proteins up and that we're changing the order of things a bit is uh, very difficult for viruses to, to evolve, detect and evolve. I mean, you know, given enough time, who knows? But, but at the moment, um, our belief is that, uh, that our compound bypasses a number of these viral defenses uh, in such a way that it would be fairly difficult for you know, uh, 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 the single simple types of uh, uh, mutations that generally happen with RNA viruses, for example, to, to detect and, and find a way around. This is a breakthrough which would literally change the face of medicine on the planet. And it's not just about fighting disease, 
in terms of illness. It's also about having a big impact on how we age and whether we lose cognitive and immune function. He's after that as well. Basically, what happens is that a lot of immune cells get infected with CMV and they, they become um, not quite dormant, but not very active, let's say. You know, it's, it's, again, your immune system just doesn't work as well as it did when you were younger. And one of the reasons for that is specifically CMV. So if we can treat CMV, we have good reason to believe that we could reverse that aspect of aging. This is a breakthrough with huge positive implications for animal welfare also, not just for pets, cats and dogs, etc., horses, but beyond pets, there's a huge and obvious potential market as pandemics of swine flu and bird flu already threaten the human food supply. Animals uh, of all kinds suffer from a surprisingly wide range of viral diseases, many of which are fatal. You may have heard about this uh, I think it was 3,500 sea lions that died recently in Peru as a result of the H5N1 virus. You know, there's things like this in cats. Uh, feline infectious peritonitis is a 100% uh, fatal disease in cats, and uh, there's no there's no uh, vaccine for it. And you know, many of these viruses in animals don't have vaccines, and so they can be quite hard to treat or or fatal. And so, um, and there's also an aspect to that that. Uh, the regulatory path to a, a veterinary drug is, uh, I think, shorter and easier than it is to a human drug. So that is definitely something that we're doing. Our approach is to tackle them in parallel. And one reason for that is that we believe we can use the same compound for treating humans uh, that we use for treating animals. But the VTO system, based on the original Draco research by Dr. Ryder, does not in any way genetically alter or modify your DNA in any way. It just is a clever mousetrap that uses aspects of your existing body's defense systems. But in the future, would it actually be possible to incorporate this invention into our DNA with sufficient testing and render us functionally resistant to viruses in a way we've never been to date? Yeah, so that, that it's a very interesting subject. Uh, it is actually, believe it or not, an area we've investigated and um, our, our um, our thinking is that something along those lines may indeed be possible at some stage. Um, there's something called a stable cell line, which is a, a cell that when it uh, when it divides, it, it carries its uh, genetic information along with it. So the, the, the technical capability is there to do this. Uh, however, the, the regulatory challenges are significant. And uh, there's some additional technical complexity in carrying you know, a, a stable cell line from a lab into a person, of course, that's a, there's, there's some issues there, but, you know, there are people who are working on uh, gene therapy. This is, this is uh, an evolving, rapidly evolving uh, area. So yeah, I do think there's a chance that uh, something like that may be possible someday. In the link in the description, you'll get the full transcript of my interview with Rick Kasig and his plans for the company. And you will also get that on the homepage of fintondon.com, a link to the full article there. And I hope that we have enabled you to see that this is a potential we have now in our grasp for a world free of viral plagues. Let's make that happen. What you can do is spread the word. What you can do is put your money where their mouth is and get behind this company, make this happen. You can contact them at kimermed.co.nz. Contact me at fintondon.com. And I do hope that you'll join me for the next edition of The Beautiful Truth. But in the meantime, this has been Finton Don reporting. Thanks for joining me, folks. Subscribe and like if you liked the content. See you soon.